This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on Twitter, here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. It is an it's our 612th Tuesday celebrating professional wrestling. Turn your phone off! Turn your phone off! Oh no. Bobby. Oh no. That was me. I'm do? sorry, Dave. I, I hit the desk and I messed with the, the video not- stream. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Rhyme me, don't knock on the desk because I attached it to the bottom here. But anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and that's how you start the show, apparently. With us, we got a hell of a crew here. You heard some of them. Larry's here in the studio. Hello. Don't yeah. hit me. What? Don't hit you? Yes. I'm not gonna, why would I hit you? I don't you? know. You just broke the internet. I did break the internet a Channeling little bit. Channeling your inner I? brawn. It looked kind of cool when it happened, though, to be honest, if you're on video. Yeah. So, uh, also... Farnsworth, he's the IWC announcer extraordinaire. Seriously, don't hit Larry. Don't hit Larry? Thank you. We'll start the hashtag. Don't hit Larry? Hashtag don't, hashtag don't hit Larry. Don't oh, hit Larry. Uh, how you doing, Farnsworth? It's been a little bit since you've been here. Uh, I guess the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's been <laughs> almost two months. Um, yeah. A lot has changed. I'm now a small Asian man. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, theater you. of Thank the you. mind. Thank you. For you guys out there on the uh, streams. Uh, so, no, yeah, and just coming off of IWC 17. Uh, an amazing show. Holy crap. Yeah. Did you think you when you woke up Saturday morning, did you think you'd be seeing the Honky Tonk Man? I had no, I, when I was sitting there calling the show, I had no idea I would be seeing the Honky Tonk Man. And also, man. did you ever think that you'd be able to witness the Honky Tonk Man? Uh, um, performing his entire song <laughs> in the ring in front of you as you called the action. I wouldn't say performing. <laughs> yeah, it, it, he was, he yeah, was but there for it. Performing is a lot fairer than <laughs> singing. So yeah, 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 yeah that's true. true. Yeah, that, that's that true. true. That is, yeah, yeah. He was miming his song. <laughs> he was there. He was, there. He was, he was present. present. He was present. Uh-huh. Hey, you know what? Pro wrestling. Uh, Honky Tonk singing is still real to me, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> also, with it, you heard, the, you heard them out there. First of all, from Flood Town, USA, it is Bobby F. J. Town. Hey, I want to talk about the biggest wrestling return of the day, and that's Big Cass. Big Cass is coming back. Oh, man. <laughs> Cleared from injury on the wrong day. Oh, no. The, the day <laughs> nobody cares. Also with us is partner in crime this past weekend at the IWC show, the Riz of Riz Plays Games. That one. Me. Hi. Hi. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was kind of like um, the Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson portion of, the, of for wrestling fans, where, where Big Cass announces... He's back, and then a few minutes later, it's oh, and so is Daniel Bryan. Oh, and yeah, it's just yeah. like, yeah, I it's like wait, this? <laughs> the same yeah, day. I know. I didn't even. I, <laughs> it was the same day. I they didn't see that injury. big <laughs> cast was. Clear. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, nobody I, saw I, big cast was cleared. <laughs> nobody right saw big cast was cleared. No, this is news no. to me. I'm finding it out. Nobody right will care that now. big cast is cleared. No, no, not in this. No. Is he cleared on SmackDown for SmackDown or Raw? Yeah, he was on Raw last, wasn't he? Was he? Yeah, I know, yeah. but they're they're talking about it on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think it's just the timing. Everybody got their medical medical checkups today, apparently. So, yeah, <laughs> WWE medical day in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, is it? Wait, it might usually. be. Usually, usually it is. Usually, it is a Pittsburgh doctor that they go see. So, yeah, <laughs> and they're going to be in town. Uh, yeah, week. they're all going to be town next week. Uh, uh, Monday with uh, Raw and Tuesday with SmackDown. Well, well, Raw's up in Cleveland, of course. Uh, SmackDown here Cleveland in Pittsburgh. Actually, Cle- uh, SmackDown's also in Indiana, PA on Monday. No, there you go. There you go. Very close. Very close. But anyways, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us an email address at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times. I think I just had a stroke. Good times at SorgatronMedia.com for the <laughs> moment. 412-206-WMS0 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook and the great Facebook group where there's a lot of great discussion happening. And uh, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Podcasts, 
uh, as well as video versions on YouTube and the Facebook page. And you can join us here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page, where there's a lot of great chatters joining us, like Alex out on the West Coast, like Tom, like Tina, like Billy Johnson, uh, like Dave, like, uh, no, no, I'm repeating names now. Uh, Wheels is out there as well, Brandon. Uh, a lot of uh, awesome uh, uh, Mayhemers are joining us every week here. It's a party. Um, also, programming note, uh, we will not be live next Tuesday. Uh, we will be doing a special recording uh, this week in uh, 7 or 7.30. i got to check the event, and we're going to have a special interview um, there. I'll talk about Ooh. that a little later in the show. Uh, and also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash show. You guys are literally helping keep the lights on here at Sorgatron Media Studios. Uh, our fan of the show, $1 level, just pitching in. Bo Diggy! Woo! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby F.J. Town, Tina Keys, oh, and the yeah. Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment is back on there. And our friends at the Pocky Club $5 level, who are going to hear the origin story of Carlos. Spooky. Ooh. Uh, that includes, of course, uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Power to the Smarks, and Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club, $10 level, they get special insight on what's going on with the Wrestling Mayhem show. And there's two of them, so it's not just conversations I have with Billy Johnson anymore that's been supporting us for a while. But also our new friend, uh, J.D. Jones, uh, all-star underscore J.D. Jones on the Twitter. Thank you so much, a new Patreoner at the $10 level. Again, you guys get a state of the mayhem show and extra perks, especially when it comes up here to wait. Wait, is Mad Mike not on this? Did yeah, I miss Mike, him? Mad Mike is on there. He is on there. Yeah. Did uh, I miss him? You missed him. Yes. Hold on. Where's his he? name is wearing camouflage. His name is wearing. I can't. I can't see him. I don't see him in the list. He's John Cena. Oh, anyways, Mad Mike's in there too because Mad Mike <laughs> really loves to get in that Patreon in the bank. Again, if you do, if you aren't a Patreon supporter. Uh, this month, uh, uh, look for information for the Patreon on the bank where we do special stuff for Mayhem Mania, uh, which everybody's into. Uh, and also, what what is it? Uh, uh, you know, hit us up in the chat, hit us up on social media or any of the things we just talked about. What would you like to see from the Patreon? I'm looking to do some uh, bigger bigger levels there and see uh, what, what what would you like to see from the Mayhem Show uh, uh, in return for uh, uh, the Patreon support. Pop so tarts. what? Pop tarts. Pop tarts. We can do uh, a pop tart level. We can actually. You would have to be in the studio to get pop tarts. We, we have. I mean, we can. I don't know if we can send. Mm. Uh, we, I don't think we can send pop tarts internationally. About bagel bites. Bagel, bagel bites. Kind of, oh, do a bagel bite. Right. We could do the only kind of pop tarts. We, no. we, we could do Wrong. a lucha underground level where we send them bagel bites. That is possible. Okay. No. 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 The no. producer Missy no. says no. Um, let's and get also, into. But the brown sugar are not. The only pop tarts there yes, are also smooth pop tarts. That's that's true. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the Pop Tart Mayhem Show. <laughs> We're um, spitting off in the Pop Tart cast. Jeez, the biggest <laughs> news from today Ooh, is obviously be... Big Cass coming big back. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Who's Big Cass? Daniel. Well, because... no, I'm, who's kidding. Big I'm Cass? kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The one that isn't in trouble. Can I say uh, one thing about Honky Tonk Man real quick? Yeah, uh, yeah, tell me about Honky Tonk. <laughs> okay, yes? It wasn't like shake, rattle, and roll as much as it was shake, rattle, and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Poor Thank Roma Italiano almost got dropped in his head. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm live switching this thing and I'm watching. I'm like, you know no. what? There wasn't a good angle of that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any angle. angle. He's still waiting on the cookies. It, we got still get some cookies out. Uh, anyways, um, but it, it, but the big news of today, Daniel Bryan has been cleared for ring action by the WWE. Finally, so happy. after all this time, it's for real. Timing couldn't have been better, especially for Mayhem Mania. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, my pick this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let me start with the unpopular opinion. Yes, he should never set foot in the ring again. Okay, okay. okay. Let, let, let him finish. Let him finish. I know. Why? He has a child. Yes. He has a wife. He has yeah. a very serious medical condition. Right. That he has been pushing and pushing to try and get everyone to essentially say, "Don't worry, it's going to be okay." Meanwhile, he's the guy that was having mini seizures. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, and, and this is not the first instance where um, people that have been pretty much crossed off the list for WWE for medical reasons have been kind of cleared. Dylan Bostic just had a tryout. He's somebody that uh, he's talked about on the show and publicly about uh, he has like a small heart condition that got flagged mm-hmm. when he was in there before. And now he's getting a look again, right? Um, but it depends. Up, I mean, the the reason he was out was incredibly serious. Yeah. It's not, it uh, well, maybe it'll heal. It's not something that goes away. Yeah. yeah, it's it's at best you get to live the rest of your life, like, and you should probably be <clears throat> wearing a helmet. Right, right. And, um, and, and you can hear on SmackDown today, he mentioned um, times where he felt angry and depressed and sad. And it's like, those are all the signs of depression. Mm -hmm. And depression is built off, like, sometimes the concussions and whatever the heck he, whatever the hell he has, what else had, all contribute to having those symptoms. They have the mood, the mood swings, the the feelings of depression, the feelings of anxiety of not doing it, and it's like the, those feelings of just sadness. And it's like I don't know if he, I don't know. I agree with Farnsworth. I I don't think I don't I don't think I want to see him in a match against anybody, especially at the top talent right now. Uh, let's let's look at the official statement here, just to to, to kind of lay this out here. Um, according to WWE.com, uh, he says following more than two years of extensive evaluations, uh, he's been medically cleared for, to return for in ring competition by leading neurosurgeons, neurologists, and concussion experts, including a bunch of names I can't pronounce. Um, he underwent a full review of his medical history and received comprehensive neurological and physical evaluations independent of WWE. He was cleared by each doctor as well as WWE's medical director, Dr. Joseph Maroon. Um, I think he, that's the doctor also came under fire from CM Punk on some kind mm-hmm. of misdiagnosis as well. Um, and he was also the doctor in that movie concussion too. Like was he the Steelers doctor? Yeah. Okay. The real doctor. Oh wait, that's the one here. Yeah. That's not the, okay. That, I don't think no, that, that's, so the, that's, that's not the CM Punk one. Cause it's the, he was in Alabama, wasn't he? No, no, no he's here. The, no, no this, the, the this doctor CM Punk is here. Doctor. This doctor is here. That's yeah. the, this, that's the one in Allegheny general or something, isn't it? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but he so. was, he was like, around for like it's all that seat yeah this is the one that's will smith just yeah. it's not no it's not, it will, it's no, not but, will smith. but he was played by will smith no he wasn't no he wasn't no he wasn't it was, oh. was carlton you tell the truth this 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 guy this guy is the steelers doctor that was like covering up not i don't want to say covering up but like he was i think he was the head of the steelers uh pharmaceutical like uh, medical staff like sending people out even though they had like brain problems okay okay concussion symptoms yeah 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 back when like all this was kind of being discovered yeah when all the cte stuff was first coming to light so kind of the go people and 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 brian's been saying for a while that he's been cleared outside of wwe and has been working at that and it's a it's i mean it's kind of a tough situation because they're still learning about this issue, right? Well, the other, the other thing that you have to look at is different standards. Uh, you know, different industries are under scrutiny because of the way that they've been handling specifically these injuries. It's not like you can look at someone and oh, you have a broken arm. Obviously, this is something that you know there, there's tangible signs and evidence for. Uh, versus a concussive injury. I mean, there there are signs and there are different telltale you know symptoms for it but unless it's something that's that's definitive and each person is different as to how they're reacting to the symptoms and different things Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. like you said the medical society they're still learning yeah and yeah i think some of it's also how many guys do you do you hear i'll be fine i'll be fine i'll be fine you know i'm 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 good i'm i I swear i'm i'm okay so a lot of the stuff how how often was Daniel going out there and doing the stuff himself and trying to hide some of the symptoms so that he could continue to do the thing that he loved to do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Definitely going to have to change his style too. And he's even said in the past that he's going to 
do that anyway. And a lot of those guys have after injuries, especially going to the mm-hmm. WWE and, and saying, okay, I can't do this four days a week, right? Mm-hmm. Or five days a week, four or five days a week, whatever, however they're doing it on top of travel, right? Um, so we'll see what they do. I mean, obviously, you know, Kurt Angle's back and not doing a full schedule, full, full physical schedule. I think they'll ease him in. I, I don't think I don't think Daniel Bryan will be doing a full schedule anytime soon. Well, and the other thing is, is like, you have your spot shows where you bring people in mm-hmm. for, for fun things. He's the Madison Square Garden guy. He's the SummerSlam guy. He's the WrestleMania he's, guy. He's, he's the big match guy. Yeah. Uh, and you can do that with him, and then he doesn't have to be pushed to the limit as bad. I mean, he could wrestle as much as Triple H is these days. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, he doesn't need to, right? Um, he misses it. But he, he was he's in a the different league. role. Daniel and Bryan's. Yeah, yeah. It's a, he does. He's not also his, COO. You're saying. his match. Well, no, his matches are going to be him bumping around, him trying to give people not he, necessarily. I, 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 I disagree know. completely. I think they that, could throw him in a tag match. They can I throw mean, him I in mean, a, a low spot. They match. can do that if it's going to be if he's going to be the big match guy, which is going to be a one on one match. It's going to be him against someone bigger. Because that's inherently the draw to Daniel Bryan versus a WWE figure. Otherwise, it's, they it's, just put him on 205 Live. Yeah, exactly. And that's that increases the le- as professional as it is, it inherently increases the danger of him having another issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's just to see how they play it. Um, and I, th- I'll. I'm of the opinion, like as you've mentioned, uh, Dan Bryan has been try has been campaigning for this and like getting cleared outside of the WWE. Mm-hmm. So he's using he's used that as a bargaining tool. He's mm-hmm. out and out said, "I'm going to wrestle another match. I want it to be in the WWE." Yeah, mm-hmm. and the WWE knows that if it's not going to be there and they don't have any good reason, then it's going to be. New Japan for big money, or it's going to be the All In pay per view has been jo- kind of thought about mm-hmm. right or it, it so and then if he leaves they lose at least one bella well i think and it possibly and probably keeps one bella too mm-hmm. but you mean we don't want to split the bellas no i mean who does yeah <laughs> talkie bella and booby bella so i think they lose talkie so talkie yeah i don't know their names okay I, all right <laughs> So you haven't binged Total Bellas anytime I, recently. I, no. I have not watched an no. entire episode of that show. I, I, I say that, that with one. pride. Yeah, so. yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's no Chris Lee knows best. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I I will come across this couch and slap your <laughs> arm. Come across this studio and, <laughs> and hit you with a VR helmet. I oh, guess. Uh, <laughs> geez. Don't do that. That's a lot of money, sir. Uh, uh, not that much. <laughs> Thanks, not that much. It's only a, it's an it's only an S6 with a Gear VR. Sorry. So. Yes. Your geek is showing. My geek is showing? Oh, let me put that back in my pants. Um, Anyways. Whoa. whoa. Oh, where do you guys keep your geek? That's what you in the pants. I mean, well, you're going to tuck it up into your shirt? Good Lord. (laughs) What are we, animals? (laughs) Gentlemen here. Thank you. Hello. Jeez. Anyways, hey, I want to. Oh jeez! Um, uh, follow this up with our how sponsor. do we follow this up with our sponsor? Speaking Kick the doors sausage. down. Neither, we're not going to yet. We're not going to yet because okay. um, we're not sponsoring or we're not kicking the door down. We're not kicking the door down yet. It's not time. Can we talk about cast now? Oh, well, I was gonna. Ask, so so. No, I don't sort know. You know right what? Here. Slice on Broadway are good friends right down know. the road here. <laughs> In lack of transition, we're just going to go with the ad. Uh, he's Italian. You tried <laughs> pizza. Supporting Yes. <laughs> hey, he's an Italian and from Brooklyn, and he loves to slice on Broadway. Talk, hey? It's a me. My God. You know, we need to get Mambo Italiano in here to do an ad for slice on Broadway. Because if you've seen his ads like on his Facebook, he is a real Italian. Don't hire a fake Italian for your wrestling promotion. Or apparently your slice on Broadway as we should do we should hire a real Italian to do these things. Uh, but our good friends supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza slice on Broadway.com here in Broadway, the OG, the original right down the tracks, of course, Carnegie PA, uh, PNC park home, the Pittsburgh pirates, as well as East and East Liberty, the newest of locations, 
Just had everything redesigned there over at SliceOnBroadway.com. Online ordering. Great stuff. Um, some wonderful I, there was somebody there's somebody I, I was just ran into um, and 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 they were from somewhere else like they were in Florida and they knew slice on Broadway and talked about the slaughterhouse amazing oh. um, but uh, thank you so much everybody for checking them out via the show and uh, for all of you that when you do come into Pittsburgh area and, and dropping by as well uh, check them out slice on Broadway.com pgh underscore slice do not kick the door down but go in say hi and let them know the mayhem sent you without the property damage, please. Uh, thank you so much for that. So there was a thing last night on the show on raw. Uh, we talked about this at length, of course, on raw wrap up, but of course I want to get kind of everybody's broader opinions. There was the ultimate deletion. And, Wonderful. and before we get to everybody else's opinions, uh, Larry watched this for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Did not watch any of them. But then you went back and found and watched the original final, final deletion. deletion. Yeah. With which was I think Matt and Jeff, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It was so Matt and Jeff. What were your thoughts going back to that? Um I li- I liked what they did in the first one better. Mm-hmm. Okay. They, they there was more stuff in it that I enjoyed. Yeah. The match was better in the first one. Okay. Um. Matt Hardy's character was a lot more solid now. Mm-hmm. Clear, like you could tell, like he was still like, like this is this is the evolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I liked his character a lot more in the one that aired last night. And there was a lot more lead up to that as that developed too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. <laughs> It it was like watching a wrestling episode of Scooby Doo. <laughs> it was it was it was very enjoyable. Uh, there was a tweet last night about, by Matt Hardy, where um, about how it was a professional and personal victory for him to see this on this big of a stage, and that Ultimate Deletion was trending on Twitter for an entire hour. Yeah. Of this, and then he went on to bash Michael Cole. Uh, did he? Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. I saw yeah. other people doing it. No, he, he he went after Michael Cole. Good, what did he good, say? good, good. Because uh, uh, Michael Cole, I think, did something completely. That was Vince. You think that was Vince doing that? that? Was Vince, Vince is not behind talking this? directly through the microphone? Uh, it, it, directly through uh, his hand up Michael Cole's ass. Yep. Apparently, he was Carlos. That one. He was Carlosing Michael <laughs> Cole. Wow. Okay. Um, Bobby, what do you think? I apologize for this mayhem show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it's what ridiculous. I say before every episode. Uh, but anyways, um, the, um, I I enjoyed it immensely. Um, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! Breaking, breaking. Tina says that they didn't show the ultimate deletion on Hulu Cut. Yeah, they did not. That's what what the hell? Anyway, sorry, Bob. Yeah, and they didn't even show it in the arena. Mm, really? really? They did not show it in the arena. What did they show? In the, did they just end the show? Ronda Rousey came out. What? And, uh, right, yeah, Ronda Rousey came out at the at Raw. And Dana Brooke w- cut her off in the ring, I guess. And for some reason, Dana Brooke, when she was near Ronda Rousey, lifted her leg up so she could suplex her or toss her. It was really awkward and weird. Very weird. What the hell? That, that, yeah. That's so weird. Go watch the clip Okay, of it. I, I guess. You don't want to... And I also heard the like during the beginning, uh, Elias was out performing. Oh, so man. they so, saw nothing. Yeah, they didn't get a main event of Raw. <clears throat> that's weird. Neither did that's, Hulu. That's strange. That's strange. Yeah. I yeah. really hope. I, I don't know if they're in yet. I, I really hope they got good ratings for that last half hour of Raw. Uh, I don't think they did. No, no, no. I read a report that said it was it was low ratings. Well, which well, sucks. But third third hour mouth. usually is. You, yeah, yeah. It, hopefully it wasn't lower. But well, and it could be one of those things where ha ha ha, you people who tuned out before this, you missed it. And you don't have an opportunity to check it out anywhere else because we kept it that way. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not on YouTube? It's on YouTube, yeah. It's completely on YouTube. But it's in segments. What, on YouTube? They don't, they don't have the whole thing on. Oh, well. I mean, you can find it somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but, uh... And apparently tonight, Daniel Bryan is thanking the w, WWE Universe after being cleared. Hmm. That was, that was pretty cool. That yeah, was awesome. That was a really, really good. Did he, uh, what did he say about the? Um, oh, what was his quote that he said? F- follow your dream. Something about dreams. If you follow your dreams, your dreams will follow you. Your fight Ooh. for you. Fight yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. If you fight for your dreams, your dreams will fight for you. 
yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Uh, but anyways, Oops. back to Ultimate Deletion. Do you think that? Yes. Do you think did it get enough buzz that we're going to see more of this? I hope so. I hope. I mean, the, the Twitter trend definitely helps, and I don't know what that compares to ratings these days when they look at these shows. I want. You know what I want from the the, the Ultimate Deletion? Hmm. I want Bray Wyatt to turn back into a a baby and get raised by Matt Hardy. <laughs> the Lake of Reincarnation. Made him into a baby. It and turns becomes, out, it turns out he's, he's actually son. King. He's actually King Maxwell. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. <laughs> All right. Here, here are my thoughts. Wow. You know, um, if you actually saw his tweet for today, um, Matt Hardy did say that he is now reincarnated into Daniel Bryan. <laughs> so it is canon now that Bray Wyatt is inside Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Dan O'Brien did say goodbye last or not Dan O'Brien. Uh Bray Wyatt did say goodbye on Twitter last night. He did. He tweeted wow. out goodbye. Inside so like, in the lake. Is that what you're that's saying? Alarming. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want to know what kind of phone he was tweeting from. Like reincarnation. Get about five bars. Bottom of the lake. <laughs> yeah, he has it in one of those uh, life lock wow. boxes. That oh. are oh. yeah, 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 yeah. See, this this is the problem that I have with with this whole thing is it's that holy crap over the top like this is completely not feasible in any universe of, of thought for a wrestling show just like ultimate warrior uh in the snake pit mm-hmm. but at least it was presented uh, they they're not I, i'm hiding sitting it. here trying to hold my tongue i hate ultimate deletion <laughs> okay i hate don't it out, man. It. I, I don't out. get it i don't I get it i hated the as first one i hated that last night for a completely different set of reasons <laughs> but i don't i still that first one i don't understand he he remembered a, a birthday cake candle and everything caught on fire what jesus christ what the hell am i watching there's a level of suspension of disbelief. I get that. I, I get that there isn't any actual like science behind an Irish whip. <laughs> but but I mean, don't don't rub it in my face that it's fake. You know. Well, and I think I think that's the problem that I have with it is all these years that people have oh wrestling is fake, wrestling is fake, wrestling is fake because you have these over the top storylines and then they start to bring it back to more realistic storylines, more realistic stuff. And then all the, of a sudden just like, boom, we're going to drop it back. The and show it's completely that ridiculous. featured two UFC fighters yeah. as legitimate competitors. And then we had, as, as Larry put the Scooby-Doo. To be fair, the U S marshals ran in though. Yeah, that's true too. That is true too. <laughs> well, you know, you can hire them. True. Yeah. yeah. You call, and you they can... got beat up by a wrestler in handcu- handcuffs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. But again, that stuff is a little more viable than, it, it's a whole. It's a whole different. It's a level. different level. Yeah. yeah. Braun flipped the truck. <laughs> I mean, that's pushing it. I'm well, not. I'm here's... not going to defend the Braun Strowman is stronger than pick something. But here's the thing. Mark, there, Mark, Mark 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 exactly. Yeah, there Mark are Henry. people out there who could legit flip a truck. I mean, I'm sure if they trained and trained and trained and trained and trained, it's feasible. Okay, you take the engine block out of it, and it's a lot, lot lighter. Um, but logistically, it's. I can I can science it I can math it it's it's tangible. All of the stuff that was in that segment last night I'm going. I think I might be high. It's comedy th- though too. That also is tangible. It's but it all, also yeah. <laughs> it. This could just be a bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, filmed the Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton WrestleMania match wow, that where was worse. where Bray Bray Wyatt makes makes pictures of snakes appear on the ring. Yeah. And he doesn't know what fireworks are. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best what, part. The, What's happening? You and I have very different definitions of best. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, that whole, I mean, from beginning to end, like I keep trying, I'm like, and, and then my brain picks five other things that like, like the fucking giraffe. What about the giraffe? <laughs> like, Hey, that's a president, that's sir. Show him some respect. That's right. That's right. I mean, I already know how weird the Hardys are. Uh-huh. I have heard stories for years about how weird they are. So this, to me, is just the Hardys still being weird. And somehow people 
It's captured people's imagination. I mean, it, here's it's, it's something that was completely different. I will it's say different. on the on the other end of things, it's not for me. Doesn't mean it shouldn't be done. Yeah, I can yeah. hate it. I can be like, "Fuck that!" It good on him for getting over because Matt Hardy has worked like hell to try mm-hmm. and ha- have this level of fame. I think a question that goes along beside that, someone's mic, um, is is do you like Lucha Underground? I love yes. Lucha Underground. Right. Now, I, now I think there is a little bit of Lucha Underground exists in a world where X, Y, and Z is possible. Right? Yes. Yes. Right? Versus this happens in a world where Braun flips a truck and UFC people are real fighters and U.S. Marshals got beat up. Um, right? There's a dragon. Um, I'm not quite sure. Like, are you saying it's... This is a stretch from the world that WWE has created. Where yes. yes. That is my exactly. problem with it. Right. Mm-hmm. Because, again, the Lucha Underground thing... That is Lucha Underground. Like, I watch Lucha Underground. That's what I expect from Lucha Underground. Mm -hmm. When I tune into WWE, I expect John Cena and, you know. Yeah, but Papa Shango made Ultimate Warrior throw up green oatmeal. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's not outside the realm. I'm also saying that, you know, because we did have a, we did have the idea that little people live under the ring. Right. Oh, in a whole yeah. magical world. But again, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. look at look at the Junior timeline between when when, when did those storylines happen? They've been sprinkled like Recently. these weird, these weird mystical things. The boogeyman, and these the also were most of this was not presented as a match. No, the ultimate deletion was presented as some sort of match, some sort of solving of the problem mm-hmm. that a match normally would. Yeah, you could say a great war. I I can't. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> you could. You could. I go, oh, <laughs> no. No. It's no. 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 It's just not happening. No. 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 <laughs> no. Okay. Let's let's try the words. Great. Great. Okay. We're gonna put another word in there just to, so it's not together. Okay. So pajamas. Great pajamas. Okay. War. Mm. War. All right. The great pajamas war. Yes. <laughs> Great war. Many bananas died. No, it just, it just doesn't go together. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. Two of them, to be exact. I, I think George Washington fought in that. <laughs> the giraffe? They all, they all fell down the stairs. No, the general. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. It's a train wreck. You can't look away. That's what entertains you. It, 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 it is something. And, and, and it's... Uh, this has turned into the wrestling is art and subjective it, argument. Seamus never last cousin is a Muppet. Too. Beaker. That's right. That's right. His cousin is Beaker. Yeah, but that's different. I love the Muppets. Uh, <laughs> Hoda Kotb and Kathy Lee Gifford appeared on Raw. What? Yeah. What? I did. Yeah, you remember what? that? Yeah, what? exactly. Wait, what? Hoda Kotb. That was the what? Great War. Hoda was the great and <laughs> the, the morning talk show ladies. Okay. Hoda and Kathy Lee. Oh, Hoda or... and Kathy Lee. Pee Wee okay. Herman yeah, yeah. did appear yes. as Pee Wee Herman. Well, Pee Wee Herman yeah. is Pee Wee Herman. Hugh Jackman was on the yeah. yeah. uh, Robocop. Uh, Zack Ryder. Robocop. Robocop and Sting. Robocop. Right. Yeah. Okay, no, although the A team showed up as a, the A team. They did. Uh, and and the Arliss showed up as Arliss. Arliss showed up as Arliss. 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 Betty yeah, White showed up as Betty White. <laughs> yeah, Betty White. I think Betty White is Betty White. <laughs> she, yeah, you're damn yeah, right yeah, she yeah. is. Yeah. Drew Carey was in a Royal Rumble. Drew Carey As went Drew on on Regis God and Kathy Lee the next yes. day. God wrestled Shawn Michaels. No, he teamed with Shawn Michaels. Or he teamed with Shawn Michaels. He teamed with Shawn Michaels. Yes. Shawn Michaels. Against, All right. I, I'm sure he Shane wrestled yeah. with him a little bit in the 90s, too. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so, so, he won his smile. So, so, you know. Rosie versus Trump on yes. Raw. Can we, can we Bobby, <laughs> tell me about your experiences this weekend. Thank you so much. My experience? Tell me about your experience with the first ever Women's Money in the Bank winner. I I hydrated James Ellsworth. You this what? Weekend. <laughs> I was his water bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, Is he, that he your term up, or his? He comes up behind us and like immediately starts talking to us. He's like he's like, oh, do they sell stuff here like water and popcorn? And I'm like, yeah. I said over in the concession stand. He's like, oh, I can't go out there. I was like, I can go out for you. So he gives me ten bucks. Sure. I right. go out. This I go out. I get. I asked if they had popcorn. They didn't have popcorn. I got him oh. water. Come back. And then he stole Missy's uh, Sharpie. Two did Sharpie. You, did Two you, Sharpie. Sharpie. Did you keep the change? Did nobody tell him there was free water in the back? Nope. I guess not. Apparently not. We weren't aware of that. <laughs> Would you tell him that? 
I, if you would have asked me, I yeah. Yeah, see, we didn't know this because I've never been to the back. I mean, Sorg watched me yeah, walk in with there. the case like, of water like that, that I brought guy. in. Say, yeah, <laughs> you brought water. Uh, this, uh, I normally bring a case of you water. Bring, and there's well, a, but there's that's a, the thing. Like, I don't know. Like, I see people come in with cases of water, and I just figure that they're thirsty. I don't, <laughs> that might have been I, my I don't know that it's there for... Man, he's, he's he's new back to this indie wrestling idea, I guess. I, uh, but it, I guess. So 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 Missy now has a feud with James Ellsworth. Is is the story? Yeah. I think, <laughs> from this. I think he should appear on our show. Oh, it's on. In trade sharpies. of the market. I'm, I'm very marker, territorial yes. on my yes. sharpies, Listen, and I, I lent him my us. sharpies, and I did not get my sharpies back. Thank God it wasn't a pen. <laughs> I mean, I, no. As much as protective as I am about my pens. We did. The Sharpies are that much more. So, so like, I was... You guys... You James Ellsworth got... might have spoiled uh, the ultimate deletion for me, yet. Why? He's like, oh, I'm good friends with Matt. And he said, Husky Harris... He saw my Nexus shirt. I was wearing my Nexus shirt. And he's like, Husky Harris is coming back. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, he's no. <laughs> and he's going to come back as Husky Harris. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> if I... he just spoiled that for me. Dun, dun, I can't dun. wait. <laughs> Jeez. Um wow. So 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 what did so what did you what did, what do you think of James Ellsworth? He's, 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 he's basically James Ellsworth. Yeah, he's James Ellsworth. I mean, like yeah. from the conversations, the, the brief he conversations. Was, kind of, was he heel James Ellsworth or was he No, he was heel James Ellsworth. He was? Yeah, he was. He well, was. when he came out, what wait, what in person? No, no, he's he was heel he was heel James Ellsworth. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because he, he saw my Nexus shirt, and another thing he said was, "You're either you're either sexist or against us." Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't explain to him like, that you're the one that makes it the jokes around here. <laughs> it was it was it was awkward. Yeah, yeah uh, that's that's a good that's a good way to point it. Put it. It was, it was awkward. He he was kind of he was kind of awkward, mm-hmm. and I came to expect that from him i had to um, hide behind him for pictures people were taking pictures oh no i photobombed the hell out of him i don't care yeah i didn't care james ellsworth just, like, through. james ellsworth <laughs> is what i expected james ellsworth to be mm-hmm. with with yeah. my yeah. with my experience working with indie wrestlers and <laughs> with the occasional professional you know larger stage folks that they bring in he was pretty much what i expected mm-hmm. he's no virgil thankfully oh, no, no, what's the no. score and thankfully, Virgil wasn't also there. Uh, yeah, Virgil uh, isn't even Virgil. By the way, um, but did you see Matt Riddle is facing James Ellsworth at uh, Spring Break? Oh no, of course he is. Joey Denon's Spring Break. Oh jeez, yeah, I was, I was seeing the images pop up for uh, Spring Break <laughs> too. Like Matt Riddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what the heck? <laughs> I mean, I still want Joey Janela versus Andrew Palace. The best Can line, that, please. I'm going to sidetrack here. The best line of the video, because there's a hype video of it, <laughs> is at the very end, Matt Riddle just goes, the guy doesn't have a chin. And it just cuts off right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like the going with what you said about him not having a chin, the best, the best moment of the, of the weekend I thought was him putting the chin, him go Gilbert going chin lock. <laughs> And not being able to put on the chin lock. I love that so much. And I, I think we need back because I don't think we explained too much. This was part of IWC's uh, 17, yeah. uh, IWCWrestling.com, and IndieWrestling.us. Gilberg versus James Ellsworth. It's been all over the dirt sheets uh, uh, yep. uh, about this. Um, the the dream match that you didn't know you needed. Um, yep. And it was over the IWC high stakes title. And uh, in the end, uh, both Gilberg and James Ellsworth are now uh, um, former champions. former IWC champions. Mm-hmm. We, we can say yep. that now. Yep. Spoiler. Yep. yep. Spoiler. We, <laughs> won't, well, I mean, we won't mention <laughs> who has the title currently. I was going to completely mention who's got the title currently. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, not yet. Not yet. Oh, not, yet. Not, yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Unless you're going Missy. to. Oh, okay. good. I was gonna, unless you're going to go into our other ad, but not yet. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to say, you looked at me at one point, and you're like, James Ellsworth's going to be back. And then the next thing you know, nope. <laughs> uh, I wasn't excited sad. about James Ellsworth being back, just just to yeah. clarify you that. You marker back. That's true. That is true. That is true. Oh, boy. Indie wrestling. I love it. Uh, anyways. Can I say one thing about Jack Pollock, too? 
Uh, go for it. This him go him him going through the crowd slowly. I was watching him, and they put extra bleachers out because yeah. it was like near. It was like a sellout, pretty much. Yeah, it was standing room only. They, they it, ran it was, out of bleachers. Was, and yeah. Um. <laughs> so Jack is going through the crowd, and this guy was sitting on the bleachers, and Jack steps right in front of him, <laughs> and he's like standing there, and I know the guy was like getting pissed off. Mm-hmm. He didn't know what was going on, but it was funny. I was watching the guy. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh yes, your cat invading. Good. Yeah, that means that must mean it's time to go for a break. Yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, I want to give a shout out here awesome. to our friends at uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, over at uh, OccupyProWrestling.com, power number two, the Smarks on the Twitter. Uh, Pro Wrestling is wild and crazy. Uh, our form, you know, like like Ultimate Deletions. Uh, and Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to uh, look at what makes it fun. Featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. Um, they did a great interview over there uh, not too long ago with a burlesque show uh, that was yeah. happening in the uh, old, in the uh, Chikara uh, Wrestle Factory, I believe. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, a little bit outside of the box stuff. A lot of fun stuff. Um, Occupy Pro Wrestling is putting the spark back in Smart Mark. Check it out. Occupy Pro Wrestling. Dot com. So shout out to our friends there. We will be back with Mayhem Mania. If Matt Carlin's can make it through the snow that's happening right now. And uh, we'll be back after this message. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And the list of all lists, the Mayhem list, the Mayhem Mania is... Upon us, Larry's behind that list. Hello. 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 I'm glad hello. To... Oh, hello. Farnsworth hello. is here as well. Hello. By the way, sporting some sweet merchandise over there. Who, who are you wearing? Uh, what we have here is the latest shirt from the Neon Blondes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'd be Michael Facade and Danny. Uh, this is the Dragon Ball Z style shirt. You can see the design. Nice. That's awesome. There, here, let's hold on. That's awesome. This is for you guys on the video version there. Uh, and of course, Danny, Danny and uh, and uh, uh, Facade both featured recently on the Indie Mayhem Show. Go check it out on your favorite podcast provider. And uh, has their tag on the back, and it is uh, glow in the dark. Nice. That's right. Glow in the dark. Nice, nice. We have somebody was mentioning uh, Facade. Kind of hard to hide uh, in a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah a little he, uh, bit, he little stands bit. out a bit he wears that all the time he's neon ninja 24 7 yeah this is, it's not a gimmick that's who he is yeah it, the neon ninja is facade turned down to 11 yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly in brightness contrast yeah. um also with us on the lines of course bobby fj town joining us and the riz hi <laughs> hey. And it's time for Mayhem Mania. And now Matt Carlin's, I he, he, I don't know if he's snowed in. He might be off saving the city somewhere. Maybe there's a house fire he needs to cover on the news. I don't know. But uh, producer Missy is going to step up. And yes, her shot, if you're with us on video, is like Wilson from uh, from Home Improvement. Howdy, uh, neighbor. There, howdy, 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 ho, producer Missy. Howdy, ho. So it is time for Mayhem Mania. And uh, Missy, please tell us how this works all right all right all right uh i am i am no carlins and i am definitely no standby that we had with chad the chat a few weeks ago so please bear with me as i I try to do this right this is mayhem mania it's not quite a game not really a contest more like a competitive thought experiment the object is to create the best wrestlemania card possible not necessarily to predict what wwe will do but more to to kind of give your own unique twist to it Uh, It's not fantasy booking. It's more like reality booking. Any match created must have at least a chance of happening this year's WrestleMania. Uh, That means all wrestlers come in their current physical, emotional, and contractual state. Uh, Anyone selected for a match must have a reasonable chance of actually being hired by the WWE to appear on the real-life WrestleMania card. Simply put, you're Vince McMahon with infinite cash and no self-control, so you are Vince McMahon. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right, uh, Sorg, can you you pull up our? Yes, pulling it right up here. Uh, uh, so we're going down the match list of what we have from before. 
Okay. Uh, we did have one that graduated. A so couple weeks ago. That was uh, Rick O'Shea versus Pete Dune. Dune. Pete Dune, created by Mad Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, so congratulations to Mad Mike on, on having the soul uh, card at this point to, to mm-hmm. graduate. Um, man, are you pointing that toward the camera so people can see what... No, no, no we, we, have, oh. we have graphics on Oh, we have graphics on oh, I didn't realize Yes, this. yes, yes. Yeah. Keep up with see? Us. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. All right. So we have... Currently, uh, we have the Honky Tonk Man and Rockabilly versus Jeff Jarrett and the Roadie versus Ruva, Rusev and Aiden English. There you go. Created by Mad Mike. Uh, and by the way, uh, but can you can you reach behind you? Uh, we do have uh, the Honky Tonk Man, the Honky Donkey Man. Honky Tonk uh, Man Honky Donkey is Donkey. now <laughs> represented here in the studio. Thank you to Brian Sopransky. Yeah. Uh You guys know him from the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Facebook group. There you go. To 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 me apparently to Mike from Honky Tonk Man. And he's pointing right into your soul, guys. Yeah, could, could you imagine him trying to spell out Mayhem Show? That's true. That's true. Mike is probably a lot easier. He's um, cool. He yes. misspelled, he misspelled he's two. What? <laughs> he spelled J-O, Mike. Joe Mike. That just might be Joe Mike. Cursive Joe writing. Mike. He looks kind of like a J. Anyways, the next anyway, match. The next match. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles versus Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. Created by Sorgatron. That's me. Then we have Asuka. Versus Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley versus Drake Maverick, created by Marcus Mann. Mm-hmm. We have Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, uh, the iconic duo, versus Sasha Banks and Bailey, uh, created by Brandon. We have Batista versus Brock Lesnar, also created by Marcus Mann. Wait, how did that happen? Because he did one. Oh, and he then... did a switch. That's right, he did a switch. Yeah, so it was it was the swapping out. And then uh, there are three matches that survived the week before without being altered in any way. And that was Elias versus The Rock, created by our, our very own Larry over here. You are welcome. And Finn Balor versus Aleister Black, created by Bobby F. J. Town. And the John Cena and Bella Twins versus Undertaker and Lay Cool, created by Chad the Shad. <laughs> Why do you look confused, Sorg? No reason. Okay. So that's that's what we're currently working with. Now, the rules, Mr. Farnsworth, are that we can kill a match and completely replace it. You can swap in an individual for an individual or a tag team for a tag team. Or you can uh, literally flip-flop like what we did uh, there with the Marcus Mann is he had swapped... Uh, was it Batista with Asuka? So Batista was initially in, in the four-way match, and then Asuka was in the match against uh, Brock Lesnar. So, so he's, he swapped them. I get one move. One move. Okay. And there are no stipulations at this point. That'll come a little bit later on. So it's, it's literally just a person, a tag team. Uh, you can add to a match that's currently there. So if you wanted to add someone to... Any of the matches that are there, if it's a tag match, you can add, add a tag team. If it's a uh, single, you can add a, another person to make it a, a three-way or a four-way, whatever the case may be. So you, as the guest, will have you go last. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, what's the order? We do have uh, Alex Carr's role and play, I thought. Oh. Do we? Who was it? Would that have been Mad Mike? I think it was Mad Mike, and he has bowed out due to Penn's game. So, so. I think that will just be uh, applied next uh, next opportunity. Potentially, yes. Um, so we will go. We we've, we've got what five people that usually participate. Yeah, I think so. So we'll go with Larry first. Sorg, you're on deck, mm-hmm. and then we'll do our dynamic duo from the the internets. Uh, we'll do Bobby F J Town and Riz. And then, <laughs> well, not, not a tag team. You guys go individually. And then we'll uh, wrap up with Farnsworth. All right. All right make it so happen. your order, guys. What you got, Larry? All right. Um, get, get on the mic. Oh. Is yeah. It? Oh, you're it's on it. You're on. You're on. good. You're good. Okay. It, was, it was me, too. Um, oh, boy. I don't know what I'm going to change this week. You got this. You do. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. No way, you know what? I'm gonna replace. Go with your feelings. Adam Cole. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. And we're going to, uh, so it's going to be Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles versus Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, shoot. Just, just cross it out and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just make it happen. I left enough space that you should be able to add. Yes. So that is now Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Adam Cole, and Tommaso Ciampa. No. Wait, who'd you remove? I got rid of Adam Cole. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Cole. So Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa. Yes. All righty. And are, are you going to be our tally keeper over I there? I will. Yes, I will keep track of it. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. All right. So all right. right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Let's correct some things. Let's let's go to this. We got this weird match going on over here. <laughs> where do we start? I was right? just gonna say which one. We we're gonna have this weird match over here where it's us: uh, Braun Strowman, Drake Maverick, Oscar, and Bobby Lashley. Um. So <laughs> let's just. I'm gonna be the one that does it. I'm gonna be one that does it. Delete. Delete, Delete Bobby Lashley Delete. Delete. and replace Delete. him with yes, yes, Ooh. yes. I was wondering yes. how quick it was going to be for Daniel. No, Bryan. I'm going to be the one. That no, no, the other one. Oh. No, the other one. Daniel Bryan is now replacing Bobby Lashley to take on Drake Maverick, Braun Strowman, and Oscar. All right, we're making it happen. So we've got two two of five ish sized guys in there now. There you go. There with you Oscar go. and Stroman. I can't wait for Daniel Bryan to be the cruiserweight champion. Now Riz yes. and I are scrambling to try now, <laughs> Yeah, now that I've taken on all everybody's good ideas. We'll see what you got there on the internet. Yes. Hmm. Mm. Go ahead, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, no, you're I'm, you're up. I have no idea what to do now. Go ahead, Bobby. No, you were free. You were named first. No, no Riz nope. Riz oh, was Bobby. Riz was cleaning up after you, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. I really don't know what to do now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> got this, Bobby. You got this, Bobby. I believe, I believe in you. I believe in you, Bobby. I believe I can fly. <clears throat> Come on, Bobby. Bobby. Bobby gonna Bobby. 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 I, I hate to do this to Brandon. Uh oh. Uh oh. But since he took out my match last week, I'm gonna take out his match. What? Wait, which one was that again? The Bailey and Sasha Banks added to the iconic Those are duo. Your girls, Bobby. Oh, I know. I know. Bailey and Banks aren't my girls. <laughs> I know. So you're taking out the dynamic duo or the iconic duo? No. You're taking no, out the entire match. You're taking, out, you're taking out the entire oh. match. Okay. What no, you Bailey and Banks. No, just Bailey and Banks. Oh, Bailey and Banks. Okay. All right. And, and who are you replacing them with? I am going to add. Hmm. Let's see. Oscar's still in that other match, huh? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's just add what I had before. Sailor Moon back in there. I can't think of anything else to do. Oh, who are you He's adding? It. He's adding Sailor Moon back in. So it's uh, Kyrie Sane and Ember Moon. Kyrie, Kyrie Sane, Sane and Ember Moon. Yep. Back in. I just can't think of anything to do because Sorg. I mean, that's, that's one you love. <laughs> that's one you love. What were you going to do with Dan O'Brien? Uh, Daniel Bryan versus Miz, duh. Duh. Mm. Okay, all right, all right. What about you, Riz? What about you, Riz? What about me? What about you, Riz? Well, first, after seeing um, Honky Tonk Man in action, I'm taking out the entire match. <laughs> <laughs> the entire match. You want to get rid of the entire Fuck match? <laughs> all of the matches. Yes. All, all of the Honky Tonk Man match. The Honky Tonk all Man and anybody man associated. So Honky Tonk Man, Rockabilly, Jeff Jarrett, The Roadie, <laughs> Rusev, and Aiden English are Yes, because right. this is not the 1990s. Happy Rusev. Day. And Happy Rusev. Day. Actually, I'm going to keep Rusev in there. Uh, oh. you, can't, you can't do that. Yeah. If you take him out, you can't put him back in. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't. What? If yeah, you, you can't. You... No, no. No, this... no, yeah, you can't. no, no, you no, can't. No, you can't. I remember that. That's a rule. That's a rule. 
Once you eliminate a match, you can't use anybody. You can't use match. anybody until because that was why I didn't have yeah. the current match that's actually scheduled for <laughs> for WrestleMania yeah. so are, on the card. I, am I, I, that? I, I did that the first time I was on this this year. Uh, then that well, was no oversight. Was that was it no happens. oversight. It happens. Well, yeah. And besides that, right. I am presiding tonight. <clears throat> it's not allowed. Do, so, do you still want to remove that entire match? Oh, hell yeah. I already crossed it off. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's, gone. it's, it's gone. an erasable marker. It can't be changed. I can't get rid of it that. Was uh, nope. nope. Um, it was so, <laughs> so what are you replacing it with, sir? I, I originally wanted to do um, a certain celebrity match, but I guess it's not in the books anymore. Um, so... I'm going to go with The Miz one on one with. No, I'm going to have to think who I want to face with Miz. No. Uh, you know what? Take that out. I don't want, I don't want The Miz. Uh, I want whatever Bray Wyatt is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever Bray. A baby. Do you want me yeah. to choose? Because it's going to be Hart's Husky third Harris. child. <laughs> Versus. <laughs> Bo Dallas. Okay. Okay. Mm. Little brother, brother versus uh, brother. Sibling, sibling rivalry. Hmm. All right. Brother Husky, I knew you'd come. All, All right. right. Bring fireworks. So, Farnsworth, you've you've seen how this is played. What? Okay, looking at this, my first thought is, uh, I am going to swap Samoa Joe with Batista. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Samoa okay. Joe okay. versus Brock Fun. Lesnar. And throw Batista into that that little party up there. <laughs> Batista party. Batista party. It's a Batista party. Batista think... Pete's party. So Sorg, that means you get to come again. Wait, so you? that match yeah. is so what's that match now? Uh that which match? Uh, oh, it's uh uh Batista versus AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano. Okay. Uh, right. Since he's just too big for that match. <laughs> Guess what? What? Larry just got the Adam the uh, Alex Cars roll. Did I? Did he? Because the Larry or the Sorg? The Sorg. The Sorg. No, I had Ch- I had Champa. Oh, that's oh Champa. Yeah, so, yeah, he had oh, Champa. Right. Yeah, that, that is, yeah, Larry okay. does get it. But he, he's still in the match. Hit it, Girth but the, oh, the, the match, match changed. Has changed okay. itself. So you get the Alex Cars roll next week. Cool. The Get Alex Cars rule, for those of you who, who may not recall, is if your match does not make it the entire round, which obviously yours was changed before the, the end of the round, then you get to come back next week, and you get to go last. Next week, SmackDown. Earthquake Aftershocks. We're gonna have... Whenever we do the next Mayhem Mania. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. We ever find Matt Carlos. <laughs> yes. Whatever All right. he may be. So, Larry, can can you give us a quick rundown of what the new card is? All right. So the new card is starting from the top, opening the show will be Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas, Batista versus AJ Styles versus Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano, Asuka versus Braun Strowman versus Daniel Bryan versus what Drake match. Maverick, <laughs> Billy Kay and Peyton Royce versus Ember Moon and Kari Sane. Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar, Elias versus The Rock, Finn Balor versus Aleister Black, and the main event, John Cena, Nikki Bella, and Brie Bella versus The Undertaker, <laughs> Michelle the Cool, and Layla. Okay, just to, just to confirm, the way that they happen to be on our card does not mean that's the way they're actually going to be on the card. Oh, no, no we, still have to go through. <laughs> we still have to go through the voting of all the final matches. So. Yeah. You can't yeah. not have Taker. Maybe but we still have the entire month to do this. Yes. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So <sighs> lots of stuff weeks. has happened here with, with our little Mayhem Mania. Mm-hmm. Had some had some shuffling, had some uh, deletions, had some deletes, deletes, some deletes, deletions. Deletes. I was debating delete. doing a complete deletion. You could have. Yeah, yeah. You could have. I was, uh, yeah. But I, th- I think you have a solid move, though. I, I... Uh, yeah, I like that one more. I'm not going to say what the other one was because I don't want to influence future. You were going to use George Washington, Ooh. weren't you? I, I was going to use a pile of George Washingtons. Oh. Mm. The That's million dollar it. man. I was going to bring in Kimono Wanalea. Oh. Yeah. Oh, only if she dances atop okay. the, the ECW arena. Well, yeah. Which is where they're doing Mania. Nice. Yeah. That's what we're doing next year in Philadelphia. Yeah. In the bingo hall. In the bingo hall. 
be the Man, highest price packing, ticket. Man, packing like 76,000 people in there? <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been the quickest we've ever gotten through Mayhem Mania. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. about that? How did that happen? Did we, we're down a person or something? Or are we missing some rules? We also... Well, we also can't can't guess on the uh, the 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 mainstream yeah. Matt Mania dream match because I don't know what's in it. So yeah, so I kind of took that out of contention this yeah, week. Yeah, so well. there's that thing happening Oops. too. So, but check it out, Mayhem Mania. There will be a follow up article. Thank you, graphics by uh, our good friend uh, Tonio Garza with the Wrestling Revolution uh, and, uh, and 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 stay tuned and stay tuned for more info on that uh, as we uh, roll through this. So with that, well, that usually doesn't last as long. I want to give a shout out, IndiaWrestling.us, uh, where you can see IWC 17 and the great commentary by Farnsworth. I don't know that I'd say great. I mean, uh, let's not oversell The adequate this. commentary yeah, by well, well, Farnsworth. Fair to Midland. Yeah, yeah, fair to what? Fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. <laughs> Check that out. A lot of stuff going on there. A lot of people checking out that dream match of Gilbert versus James Ellsworth. Uh, but also a great match between uh, DJZ and... And, and gory and gory it was fantastic great. Match. Mm-hmm. uh they even used the air horn through the match <laughs> oh that was that was that was fun that was a lot of fun <laughs> which it goes to show is it, for all the wrestlers who are scared of doing comedy mm-hmm. you can work comedy into an amazing match mm-hmm. yeah it doesn't have mm-hmm. it, like it doesn't have to all be uh who am I Super serious of? move, grapple, grapple, grapple. Or completely screwball comedy nonsense. Mm-hmm. You can work a little comedy in, and it can fit right into an amazing match. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, like two guys that had a lot of history, uh, I think their first IWC match was against each other, right? Um, and, uh, and a lot of fun there. Uh, the show's up there. It, it, <laughs> we ended up getting up within 24 hours, which was, I think, a new record for us, maybe. Well, uh, so... Well, you uh, didn't have to edit out anything stupid that I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. You're really good about so that. So that's you nice. Know? So, uh, but check it out. It's on video on demand for only three ninety nine. If you want to just do the rental thing, or you can pick it up digital download for nine ninety nine and pre orders for DVDs available right now. Uh, there's a little bit of footage for you guys online of uh, Gory and DJZ Impact Wrestling. Uh, uh, DJZ just announced for the uh, Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling at WrestleCon uh, in one of the tag matches that they have going on there. They announced it. Uh, yeah, they officially oh, cool. announced that he's a part. I, I can't remember who all of his partners are or anything like that. But uh, and actually, here's also a little bit of Ellsworth and uh, Gilberg coming out. Uh, I get, of course, Gilberg accompanied by um, the sexy, talented dudes. <laughs> 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 so great to see our, our friends out there. Um, and, and Ginger, for a moment, apparently was the intergender champion. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and don't out. forget, um, uh, Ellsworth was brought brought to the ring by uh marshall Gar- what did he call him garbino garbino Garbano. Garbano. yeah something like yeah, that i really hope that was like like fake and uh, like he actually knew the name but i kind of figured it probably wasn't yeah you never know you never know uh no pack crowd it was crazy there at iwc <clears throat> uh and awesome everybody was involved there check it out at uh indie wrestling.us and also our friends with rise wrestling renegade wrestling alliance who have a show this weekend uh march 24th uh with our good friends like the rev ron hunt and uh chris taylor i think i think chris is going to be back from disney world um he seems to go there like every two he, months he is back he is back okay yes. good so um he has the most fun facebook uh, uh when, when he goes on his disney world trips but uh Anyways, go check those. Support Indie Wrestling at IndieWrestling.io. Sign up for the newsletter for information on uh, stuff that's coming out and this show as well. Now, I do have to bring up, since we're transitioning back to show stuff, Mm -hmm. that Alex Cars makes a very valid point as far as what the Supercard or what the main event should be. We have one match currently that has made it to the Supercard that has graduated. That that, That should be technically our main event right now. That's what the pool's for. Yeah, you guys well, I realize that, but I'm, I'm just saying that what as far that as I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not judging anything, that's but that's why the pool is in there. You done in Ricochet. R- Ricochet match. The guy who's not right. wrestled on TV yet. <laughs> yes. All right. So, so it's this main event in WrestleMania. Just saying. Um, it's all good. So I, I, I want to get to what we learned, but but first <laughs> of all, we, we did have a message from a friend of the show, Chris LaRusso. I meant to bring this up while we were talking, where we're, while we were more on the topic earlier. Um, but he has some thoughts about uh, Daniel Bryan uh, news that came out today. 
He says, one, just because he is uh, clear does not mean that he is in uh, ring shape, nor right. does it mean that yeah. he, he'll be in ring shape by mania. Two, uh, this does not mean that WWE will be eager to put him uh, back in danger, <laughs> as we saw tonight, <laughs> and he may be regulated to part-timer well... or his, set, his schedule uh, severely limited. Well, uh, from what we're hearing from SmackDown, that might be crossed out. Uh, three... Well... The dream match, uh, the dream matches, Brian AJ or Nakamura or Brock, for instance, uh, you're, you're probably you're probably months, if not years away of, of seeing. No. Him. So um, <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't I don't want him to go against Brock. You want him and Brock? Just him in the ring with I just don't want to see right Brock Lesnar. Yeah. We're, everybody <laughs> seems to be kind of over Brock, at least in our circles, I guess. Hey, um, you're going to train with Titus O'Neil. <laughs> we're <alive>. Okay. <laughs> So, guys, and chat room, too, what did you learn from wrestling this week? It's Bobby? Um, Farnsworth? What did I learn? In- what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that you apparently can get over doing dumb crap. <laughs> you just learned okay. this? Ultimate okay. Ultimate deletion. Uh-huh is over as hell and god bless matt hardy i just don't get it which means maybe i just it's, don't it, get it's not for you it, it, yes. which is amazing it's on raw because it seems like such a niche thing i i yeah i mean i, I can understand it 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 went beyond chikara has gone pretty far out there yeah like a time but travel again, gimmick but again they, they have their world right yes yes and this Seems like it would still be weird for Chikara. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, producer Missy, what'd you learn? I learned that former WWE superstars are pretty much what I expect in person. And we'll steal your markers. Mm-hmm. And we'll steal my markers. <laughs> Son bastard. of a bitch. Sure. No markers. Larry, what'd you learn? Um, shit. <laughs> you learned shit? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I learned Matt Hardy can get off inanimate <laughs> objects. Wait, what? What? Get, Where did you get, learn this? Get o- or get over inanimate objects. Oh, <laughs> those, oh, okay. Two that's different that's terms. Different. That's different. I'm glad, I'm glad terms. I didn't say giraffes. That would have been weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, his, it is his own personal giraffe. So. Yeah. Well, you know. Doesn't what matter. happens on the Hardy compound I stays guess. on the Hardy compound. That, yeah, that was. The no, one. it doesn't. They film it and show it to us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm, I, in, in prime time on USA Network. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to see that shit. Go to watch the shows live. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. Uh, what about you, Riz? I learned that uh, Senior Benjamin now has a WWE contract, and it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. When they found him under the boat. <laughs> The world his, his boat has a name, sort of. Skies God, I knew you'd come. Uh, Bobby, what'd you learn? I learned there's free water backstage at IWC. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> Am I breaking a rule by saying that? I, it's... I mean, you, if, you, if you can get backstage, oh, okay. by all means, have some water. If you're just listening and thinking, <laughs> I'm just going to go backstage and get some water, yeah, don't, don't I just promise there are people back there that just want to beat you up. Yeah, it's, yeah, they just like it, it's like a it's like a lion that all of a sudden of a seal ends up in the yeah, compound. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Like, a lion and I a can, seal? Yes, because the seal can't really do anything. It's just gonna get mauled. Yeah, and I can speak to this because I don't ever go to the backstage area. They know me, and I still like I go back there, and they just. <clears throat> Well, you know the, the Cogers. Minute, you know the Cogers sure, are back there. The minute that I pass that threshold, it's like there's a, a silent alarm that goes off that has alerted everybody, and they just turn and look at me like, "Why are you one here? You're not just, one of just us." Make one sure the this. seal's tight. <laughs> <laughs> what if and it's a the seal water line? is actually clear. Uh-huh. I don't that, one, that one kid was like, "Can I go back there and get a chair? Am I allowed back there?" Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Also, asking. I also learned that Senior Benjamin is Matt Hardy's father-in-law. I didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that, no. Did not know that. Hmm. 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 From the chat room. Oh, I learned. Sword. What did you, the sword? Sword. I learned. What did, you learn, what did you learn from wrestling this week? 
I learned that uh, Rise Wrestling does not put up with Jack Pollock uh, um, assaulting yeah. the the wife of uh, Justin Plummer. Yeah. Um, cool. The spousal spousal hostage taking in professional wrestling is still real, and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, apparently that's how you get your contract back. Well, and lose another one. <laughs> so this is why we don't fire people from this podcast. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, Missy, oh. watch out. No, that's I'm not. I'm um, going with the chat room. <laughs> from the chat room, going through this, Alex learned that there is a Tuesday Night War of Wrestling podcast on Facebook Live. I'm sure there's lots of wrestling podcasts on Facebook Live these days. Uh, also, Tom learned that Carlos is a diva and will not make personal appearances at live events. Bobby, <laughs> I'm a <into> super indie. <laughs> I'm gonna fight. There James Hell's worked for their marker back. There you go wow. for the intergender championship. Uh, <laughs> yes. Alex Miller. Oh, yeah. Alex Miller learned. You should, you should take a picture and challenge him on Twitter. Um, <laughs> Alex Miller learned that uh, you need a you need a delete or decay in WWE. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need a best in WWE, WWE. To be quite honest, I agree with that. And um, his and his nephew. Nephew? Ethan oh, yeah. Page. Yeah, and his nephew. Absolutely. Alex Carr's, uh, to be fair, Farnsworth, Chikara is home to the only wrestling match to uh, last nearly 24 hours. It's true. <laughs> true. That's still not as weird <laughs> as Ultimate not. Deletion. Tina says uh, Snickers got involved with the name change for the Women's Battle Royal. Money talks. That's yeah, because we have yeah. we've had a few conversations about that. I'd prefer not yeah, to get yeah, into it on yeah, the show, yeah. it, but I had no idea the controversy over Fabulous Mula until the, the internet blew yeah. up about it. Yeah. I, I've never heard about this stuff before, so um, you're not going to get into it. You you can find it if you Fabulous Mula the controversy, uh, you'll you'll find it. Um, it shouldn't be changed in China either. Be the Brie Royal Battle Royal now. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, the Bree Mode Battle Royal. There you go, Battle there you Royal. go. Also, Kyle Turner learned that uh, dreams come true, and then you get power bombed on the ring apron. Uh, <laughs> and JD learned that it's time to stop putting Roman Reigns on stretchers. It's never going to turn out good. <laughs> I was ready. I was waiting for Braun to like jump out. I'm not finished with you <laughs> from our last feud. While we're at it, while we're at it, right? I'm assuming they did that wrong. It seemed yeah. to me like they want, like he was supposed to do something with him strapped to the board, and they strapped the board to the stretcher, mm-hmm. and yeah, he and couldn't he get him free, and then he just and ran off to go <laughs> like Rey Mysterio. eat some goats that tried to cross his bridge or whatever. So. <laughs> oh, geez. Farnsworth, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I'm always happy to be here. Of course. Of course, featured on the uh, IWC Court Time uh, uh, events. Me and uh, Funky Joey D. Funky Joey D. Joe's been doing a lot of Ring of Honor lately, too. He has. Mm-hmm. He's a talented feller. There he is. You can check it out. on uh, Him and, and friend of the show, J-Rock, featured mm-hmm. on the uh, Future of Honor matches on YouTube. So I don't know why I, I turned your plug into a plug for Joe Dabrowski and Ring of Honor. <laughs> but uh, How does he do that? Because he knows where the you know where the money is. Well, you know, I don't know about the money, but... I mean, have you worked? With, you've worked with Joe enough. I have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so uh, Larry. Yep. Anything to plug yet? Is that thing up? Uh, it will be no, soon. No, it will be soon. <laughs> oh, we'll you have soon. something to tell us? I, I know a we'll guy. <laughs> yes, yes. That just sounded filthy. Look forward to girthquake.com. <laughs> wow. Yes. Just tag your partner. So I won't tell you about here. the noises I hear from the basement since he's moved in his uh, his offices. Lots of uh, right motorized below, things. Right below the studio. Weird. I'm never coming on the show again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to plug. You need well, not until you have something to plug. <laughs> God, quick, God. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get Matt Light back on. Uh, and also, thank you, Bobby F J Town. Hi, oh, uh, and Carlos. Yeah, Bobby F J Town Industries. <laughs> Sounds like a fancy place. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at it. It looks fancy. In that Is it background. a fancy pants place? Filled with pops. Yes, filled with pops. Yeah. And wood Why do you fill your pants with pops? There you go. And of course, yep. the Riz, who's going to be doing something with us here in the studio this Friday. Freeze games on Friday, sort. We're, ga- we're gaming. We're, are, is it, do you know what we're playing yet? I have a few ideas, sort. You have a few ideas? Are I, they going to be games? I want to throw I, it by you before I you know, mention it. 
publicly. Okay, I want to show you. I have a few ideas I want to throw about you. All right, all right. And I, I got to show you my collection, too, so we can, if that pops up some ideas. You show too. me yours, I'll show you mine. Yeah, so, yeah. Like the Undertaker. Swap accounts. The sword fight. What? Let's save that for the Patreon. Yeah, I was going to say, what's happening behind that curtain at the wrestling show? And thank you, producer Missy, for taking over Mayhem Mania. Yes, I am. I am no <laughs> Matt Carlin's. I am. I'm definitely no Chad the Shad. But somebody had to step up, and Sorg wasn't going to. So no. And look no. at that! You got thanked out of it. I did. Wow. <laughs> and thank you, chat rumors as well. Um, what's there? Oh, oh, oh! What is this? What is this, mm-hmm. Riz? You didn't what even Riz. You that? didn't even plug this. What you, is that? You didn't Sorg, even plug you... your own thing. Riz is going to be a part of the uh, Pittsburgh Marathon, right? Do it. And uh, that's not marathon. That's not a picture of him. Um, the Dick Sporting Goods Foundation Team Pittsburgh 2018. The link is in the show notes mm-hmm. for this podcast for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, may, may I may I read a uh, comment, Sork? Yeah, go ahead. So, I, I got I got a donation. Uh, I guess one week ago. Uh, and I would like to read this to you. Okay. It is from a RJ. RJ. <gasps> the RJ? It just says, fuck you, Riz. <laughs> what? What? Wait, what? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well, it does. It, it, seriously, it's I have, a, I have it right are... here. It says it right there. RJ, <laughs> donation. He donated $25 at least. He, he, did, he did donate $25, which is why I'm saying this now. Just so you know, I will say anything on this air, on the air for any donations is that is that the rj <laughs> Wait, we're thinking that is the rj sorry is that the impact <laughs> that wrestling's the RJ? rj that is the impact wrestling rj city oh that's Copy amazing <laughs> that is amazing now here's here's the question did he donate while well, in his underpants yeah in the kitchen in coffee, coffee. coffee. Mm. Mm. i have an issue was... with that what he yeah. says Which he part? makes coffee in his underwear yes he makes no coffee in his underwear. No? He has a French press right there. Okay. There is zero coffee being made in his underwear. Oh. Are you sure that's not being used as a filter? I've I've checked. Oh, okay. Oh. He is no, You've done he, research. He he makes coffee in coffee making apparatus. And I don't even know why he's undressed. It's it's All Sunday. Right. It's Sunday morning. Why not? You know, we're just going to have to do Riz Riz makes coffee in his underwear with the first guest Farnsworth. Um, I really are don't you think going anyone to wants make to the, coffee the coffee in, in your underwear? underwear? Yes. yes, yes, and we'll do it the right way. We'll do it the right way. I think underwear would work as a perfect filter. I don't drink coffee. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's you don't, it's don't have like to drink it. Nothing says in the contract says you have to drink it. You just have to make it in your underwear. Yes, the least washed show on YouTube. Yeah. No, I'll be kicked from YouTube for that one, sir. <laughs> oh, we're halfway out the door as it is. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Um, thank you, I mean, thank you so much. didn't show his butt yet, did he? What's that? DeMarco didn't show his ass again, did he? Well, like, like lately? Like... Uh, not on the show. Good. What? Oh, what? How we no. got kicked out of what? Blog TV. Guys, thank you so much for joining us here in the chat room. Kyle, Tina, Alex, Alex. JD and the rest are joining us here all night. You can join us at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Most Tuesdays, not next Tuesday, because uh, we will not be here. We'll be at uh, SmackDown here in town. Most of us here uh, will be uh, participating in that. Not participating, but we'll be, <laughs> be, be in the ring. I don't know. Wrestling. It kind of depends on how the night goes. Maybe maybe we'll have dreams come true and then get power bombed for it, right? I'll be pulling uh, cable. Your, yes, your yes. Dream, but... Dreams. We'll have a special recording night starting. Uh, we're going to be starting at 5 p.m. Eastern time on the Awesome Cast. We're podcast day. Um, the surrogate podcast day is actually going to be Sunday, uh, March 25th. And uh, this show, we are actually going to be doing a special interview with Frankie Nelson of the uh, Mania of the uh, Mania. Um, um, the word is escaping me, and and it's too long for the Facebook message here. Beetle Mania. Uh, ah, the Mania, Cl- Mania Club Tailgate Fundraiser. I want to make sure oh, I got it right. Uh, Frankie's going to be joining us. We're going to be chatting with him for a special edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, speculation is we may have a Mania, Mayhem Mania session that evening as well, if we can get everybody out of the snowstorm uh, to participate as well. Uh, so 7 p.m. Uh, this Sunday, 
You can join us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook live for that. And then, of course, everything will release on the uh, regular schedule otherwise. You, you know what really works well for this, Sorg? Subscriptions? No. Y- no. Y- you know what works really well for this? Sorry, I thought we were doing the first segue. The show notes that are put together. The show notes, yes. Because we have advertising options available. Yes, we do. So why don't you tell the folks about how they can do some advertising with us if they would you like to do some advertising. With this? You want to get your message out to this audience, this rabid mayhem audience? Hit us up at uh, advertising at uh, SilvertronMedia.com. Thank you so much. Can I outro now? No, because there are also upcoming events. There are upcoming events. You mentioned events. one upcoming event. I mentioned one of the upcoming events. Yes, but there I are did. other upcoming there events. There are. There are. This um, is why you have a piece of paper in front of you. That you don't pay attention to. Oh, I was using digital. Okay, so um, Wrestling Mayhem Show Live. Todd DeFagio of Idiot Radio will be joining us April 3rd when we come back to Tuesday nights. Uh, so look out for that. And I know they're doing a lot of fun stuff here in the area. Just a hill over from us. They had they had an episode of the show with the DDP and uh, Dean Radford. That's, a, that's an odd combination. Yeah, there Good you go. Good on them. There you go. Uh, so a little bit of uh, wrestling in the wrestling themselves. And of course, if you're here in the area, there will be a WrestleMania watch party featuring no Sorgatron uh, here at the studio. Uh, so they will get Lady Sorgatron. But they will get Lady Sorgatron. Which bakes the things. Which bakes the things. And there was rumor of a pancake party. Is that happening? <laughs> There's Ooh. totally a pancake There's party a happening. Pancake party. It will be pancakes. Uh, pancakes and sausages. Pancakes and sausages? Yes. Ooh, bangers and pancakes. Yeah, pancakes and bangers. That's, and that's exactly. If anybody wants to wrestle, watch, anybody in California wants to watch WrestleMania with me, um, uh, uh, hit, slide into my DMs and uh, we'll figure Ooh. something out Ooh. because I'll be out there in Van Nuys, California. WrestleMania like weekend. Actually, been watching. <laughs> if you want to watch any of this stuff with me because I'm working during the live broadcast and uh, if I can connect with some Mayhemers to watch some wrestling with, um i got a cool mini projector <laughs> so uh that's how i was watching jessica jones and fast lane uh, on my trip to florida a couple weeks ago so uh yeah let's have our own wrestlemania party in california if you're in the area uh we'll figure something out there uh also so. pancakes maybe i'll involve ca- pancakes you don't know Californian pancakes. Maybe we'll invade the hotel the breakfast bar or something i want to you know uh I- i'm told i'm not supposed to leave the hotel they told me not to leave the hotel in van nuys they said be, yeah, because it's not a safe good idea. they told me it's not safe just it's a good idea sir. but Great. but i will have three nights i'm working i'm working each day that there is wrestlemania stuff each night there is hall of fame nxt wrestlemania right mm-hmm. so you have no reason to leave. i have no time. reason to leave it's you gonna be the most un-california pancakes. trip to california that I, i've ever taken unless by some miracle, you can get into the Lucha Underground Temple. I don't think they're re- they're going to be recording WrestleMania weekend. I didn't say All they were recording. Them. I said you might be able to get into it. Ooh. Moment. I mean, I think you'll have a reason to leave for Friday, Sorg. I'm just putting that out there. What? It is not a good Hall of Fame class. Oh. Hey. Wait, really? Really? Yeah. It's so late in the show to drop opinions like that. Drop it. Alright, this has been a 20 minute outro. Thank you so much, everybody. See you next time. Thank you, Farnsworth. Mark him out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.